Good day, traders. This is Rich for Thursday, April 9th, 2020. It's 4.30. Markets are closed for the weekend, three-day weekend coming up with Easter, Passover, everything else you can think of. So take the day off, take the weekend off, or work on what you plan to, to make your trading better like I plan to study my butt off with this new course i'll get into that later after i start it has now purchased it is in my mailbox and i will start working on that this weekend i'm pretty excited about that but i have learned a lot over the last few weeks um uh, don't don't let me forget i mean i've been trading a very long time but the last few weeks have been different i've been getting back into the day trading game and it's been quite interesting uh taking some small trades and just trying to see how things are working out and watching price action and really understanding how the flow has been. I've heard from two strong sources that this is a really tough market to trade in the way we're trading. But if you can, you know, break even to gain money in this market, then you can pretty much adapt to any other market there is because this is pretty insane market right now. So let's go over some charts, some trades I took and um, see how it played out. So this is a spy. Looking at the spy, this opened up about two points, pretty much like a, almost like a small gap, nothing big. And then, what do you know? Government produces two more two trillion dollars of loans um, to the U.S. economy, and we get a little pop here. And as you can see, we we opened up at seventy seven, saw a high of eighty one, saw a low of seventy five, and closed at seventy eight. So we pretty much closed where we started on the spy. No big deal, just kind of choppy market. So it made it difficult, but. You got to look deeper. You got to look into the smaller type stocks and what's moving in the markets right now. So let's go trade by trade. First trade I took was NVAX from yesterday. I missed that one. Um, this one did not work out well. Uh, small loss. It. I took the break of the high here uh, on this candle. Moved up uh, just a few pennies or so, maybe 10, 10, 10 cents, but then pulled back. So I got out with a small loss. No big deal. And then I moved on to, this is all with it really early in the trading day. Um, NLS, I was trying to take the break here on this particular candle. For some reason, this candle I think is out of whack. I should, probably shouldn't have traded this because the candle was so messed up. It shouldn't have opened down here. I believe it was open down here um, because the pre-market was right here. But I did take the break at this high here at 350, a, you know, a half point move and it went to like 354 and pulled back and this kind of candle chopped around for five minutes and i was on two minute candles and once i saw it try twice i decided okay let's get out and uh, i mean this is the move i took my entry on and i decided just to pull it out and and left with a small loss very minimal loss so the next trade uh so i was off to a bad start with small two small losses but i wasn't too worried like yesterday I found this trade, APA, uh, opened on this particular candle. It's the energy stock. I was looking at the break of this particular candle here. As you can see, it consolidated inside candles. And once it broke 9.18, I think I, I, I think I got like 9.20. I forgot. I rode this up here, sold early, obviously too early, and it moved all the way up to 9.63. Um, pulled back down a bit. And then ended up getting up to 10.07 later on in the day. But I did come back to APA on this these two candles. And I'll explain that to you in a second. Because I want to continue on um, with what else I did. So the crushing blow. So that was a winner. That was a nice winner. Not, not I could have made more. But not bad. The trade was there. The process was there. And I was pretty comfortable with it. So let's go to the next one. Which is CSLK. Which is the dumbest move of the day. Very frustrating move. Um... I was looking the break of this four right here. Um, high of the day was 415, open territory above, and it got up to four, fought up to four a couple times, and then it just shot back on me. Uh, I think I took a 30 cent loss on it. And it did not work out. And I was very frustrated because I thought it would break out and give me a nice quick winner. Um, but it did the opposite. And as you can see the rest of the day, look what happened. Got up to four here, ended up at 180 or so. That's terrible. So not a good trade by any means. 
Um, the next one, so I was a little upset at this point, had an office situation, but this really would have worked out great. Uh, I was looking at the break of this one at eight, around eight. Um, on this candle here, pulled back, was jostling around here, and I had an office, something happened in my office, I had to flatten the trade really quick, and look what happened, shoot, right up to 847. Not that I would have gotten all 847, but I would have gotten a nice chunk of it, and of course it pulled all the way back, which is interesting, but it still would have worked out in my favor. It's, it's, I didn't even give it, look, if you look at it, on an eight entry, it only dropped down to 785. I don't, eh, maybe it would have stopped out, but I don't think I would have. So um, let me look closer at it, actually. Actually, I got the 791. I got the break of this candle, I'm sorry. So yeah, I mean, it was like six, five cents. So there's no way it would have been stopped out. And I just had to flatten it for office situations. So that's unfortunate. Um, and then I made another mistake on this. Uh, airlines were moving up and I selected the wrong airlines after American Airlines yesterday. I'll try taking a break here of the uh, 50. Uh, I was going up to 24.50 on Delta Airlines and it just turned around and went the other way. It fought a little bit and I just kind of canceled the order, flattened it. Remember, this is stuff I would never used to do. I would never just cancel. Fortunately, look what happened. It dropped all the way down to 23.80 and then dropped even further later on in the day. So back in the day, I would have set like a 30% stop. It was just bad trading. So now I'm taking these small losses and I'm like, okay, small loss, no big deal. The CSLK, that sucked because... Um, it kind of surprised me. It kind of like rug pulled, but no big deal. So all of a sudden we got news over the wire that oil is making deals, Saudi Arabia, Russia, whatever. So I jumped back on APA energy stock and I jumped on this one here and moved it up pretty good. Got a nice gain here. Um, not huge, not by any stretch, but a nice gain and eventually did touch the high of the day. Uh, never touched my stop or anything until after the fact, but I'd gotten out on this candle here, but then I realized it wasn't moving as much. So the stock that was slowly rising at the same time, but not making the move like the APA did, it was almost like five minutes after the fact was SLB. So I jumped on this one and I got a nice move here. So I had a back-to-back -back trade on the energy stocks using the news that was coming out from oil. Um, then in the lunchtime, it came back. I missed this huge move. I missed out on a huge move on this particular trade. ICD had some news that came out. And look at this thing. The call was around over 7 or 8 on this candle. And it went all the way up to 13. All the way up to 13. That's almost like a 70, 80% move. Pretty intense stuff right there. Um, it did pull back dramatically back to where it actually broke the news. Um, it's further down now. However, I took a trade here on this pullback. Um, at the time, uh, these lines were in play, but I took a tr trade on a pullback here for a few cents. Uh, small gain, but it worked out pretty good. So the last trade of the day was good old Chewy. Um, it had tried here at 42 here, so it did not get through, pulled back, came up again, hit 42, and I took it for like 10 cents um, before pulling back here. If I'd let it hang in there and give me back a, you know, a tight stop, I would have gotten stopped out. But if I had loosened up a little bit, it would have gone all the way up to about 42.72. But this was just a quick end of the day trade. I wanted to get into it. I only got a few bucks out of that. So no big deal. Um, these were the trades I took today. Pretty much break even. I would say maybe 5 to $10 on either side. Um, I'm happy with it because I was able to make moves and be confident with it and not really be upset that I missed something or did something wrong. Other than the CLSK, if I didn't take that trade, I would have been in the positive territory for today for sure. So that wraps it up. This is Rich with uh, Thursday's price action, April 9, 2020. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I look forward to hearing from you guys and I'm um, going to keep producing videos until I get an audience and um, enjoy your weekend.